better than theirs. Uh, we were here uh, at U Prep uh, in Rochester um, showing off our two weeks of working on the solar car project. It's a way for students to be able to practice STEM. What we do with the solar car project is we connect the, uh, the academics that the students use in school. For instance, one of the first things I do with the students is I um, get them to do what I call a speed formula, where we have to use a huge algebraic formula that has pi and time and miles and conversions and fractions and all that. But through this formula, we can just change a few of the variables and get to the speed we want. We are trying to make a car from the solar panels that you put on a house, seriously. But we have to think outside the box because basically you can't base it off a regular car. The Earth is running out of fossil fuels by a long shot. So we're trying to make a, mm, a better way to get around. It's so encompassing and it just covers so many things. That what, that's what makes the project great. So okay, we get to cover math and science. We get to cover a little bit of chemistry. We get to cover things like the academics and the business end. Uh, we get to talk about sustainability, sustainable energy, and we get to touch on other forms of energy too. So we get to work on all that. I think I might actually take on the engineering because it seemed like a lot of fun. I might take a couple classes because Engineering is cool.